Maybe the local 5Ks and 10Ks will be happening in 2020, more so than the bigger marathon races. I don't know, we'll see, but that is the question of the day. Good morning, everyone. Really the first uh, difficult night of sleep since Henry was born. You know, we just didn't sleep much last night, but we'll make it through. There's the little guy. He just, uh, who knows what happened, but we'll take it. Three weeks into life, and it's the first tough, tough night. We've had other nights that are a little tough, but this one was, uh, this one was a doozy. So we'll see, see what happens today with respect to running and training. All right, love you all. Here we go. Oh, man. Okay, there we go, everyone opted for the carbon fiber plate shoe from Skechers over the Horizon Vanish, but both shoes, incredibly lightweight. I think in my size, they're both under six ounces or really close, so that is light. Hold on, camera is falling down. Hold on, I need a new tripod. Uh, I've worn this tripod out. Okay, and uh, the goal for today was to do my first baby threshold run, uh, but with lack of sleep, We'll just see, I'm just gonna listen to the body, see how we feel, and yes, I'm gonna attempt to film again with this teeny tiny camera, but uh, it is, uh, something's going on with the gyro, so it's spinning uh, crazy, so if there's some crazy spinning over the next minute, you know that's, it's, it's something's going on with the gyro inside this little camera. I think that's it, oh yeah, lastly, thank you. I think there's already over 200 comments and it's not even 8 a.m. yet um, on yesterday's vlog about thoughts and opinions on the spring marathon 2020 um yeah i just appreciate you and everyone from around the world and perspectives from italy hard hit places and um i don't know if i saw any from china but anyway i just appreciate you chiming into the comments down below to help us get on the ground perspective you know what i mean because you hear stuff in the news and it's like it's really nice to hear perspectives straight up from the ground all right shall we do this Shall we do this? Let's go. Let me see if it'll film right now. There we go. All right. Hopefully it's not spinning. Here we go. Oh, legs feel okay. A little sore in my right hamstring, but overall feeling pretty good. So hopefully, hopefully we can get some of this threshold in or if not all of it. And I'm back from the double. All right, everyone, so here we go. As I said in yesterday's vlog, the coronavirus uh, situation is evolving, not by the day, but by the hour. And there was a major update that happened just before the run. I'll get you that update in a minute in the marathon world. You probably already know what I'm gonna say. Um, and it impacted our family today. So our kids' school has been, has, is happening all across the United States. Our kids' school was canceled today until March 30th, so they were home today, which means I did not have nearly as much time in my day as I was helping out with the family and baby Henry. 
and it also is going to impact this first impression video of the Skechers uh, Horizon Vanish because I did not have time today to do the research ahead of time about the uh, drop of the shoe, the weight of the shoe. So I will do that and put that in titles once the family goes to sleep tonight. All right, does that sound good? So I will give you my thoughts about this shoe and compare it to the Speed Elite Hyper as well as the Reebok Float Ride Run Fast Pro. All right, so that's, that, is the, uh, that is the update on my end as far as how the coronavirus is impacting our family. And this is the reality. And it's the reality of the, oh my goodness, of the spring marathon season, which is now becoming the fall marathon season. So this is what I posted on, <clears throat> excuse me, on uh, Twitter just about uh, an hour ago. I said, get your popcorn ready. A 2020 marathon racing calendar so far is now the, Sept uh, the Boston Marathon on September 14th, the Berlin Marathon on September 27th, the London Marathon Oct on October 4th, the Chicago Marathon on October 11th, and the New York City Marathon on November 1st. It's going to be insane. I said it's going to be a marathon racing season for the ages, obviously, if we can get the coronavirus under control. All right, everyone. So that is the update as far as London is officially postponed. Boston was yesterday, and we'll just continue to listen to the experts, the doctors, the scientists, and see what they tell us. Okay, first impressions of the Skechers Horizon Vanish, and again, over the next couple minutes, you'll see the stats for the shoe pop up on the screen, so stay tuned for those. Here's the deal, everyone. Very lightweight, similar to the Speed Elite Hyper, although um, I don't know the stats, but I do believe, I'm going to put them on the screen right now, that the Horizon Vanish is lighter. This is the same size weighing them right now on your screen right now. I believe the Horizon Vanish is lighter and I love it. Now, very, very neutral shoe, very neutral. In fact, if you have any issue with overpronation or supination, this is not, I would not advise this shoe. Like I haven't, I don't know if I've seen, let me just t do the twist test. Yeah, I would say that the Reebok Float Ride Run Fast Pro which is a three ounce shoe from 2019, and the two is coming out very soon. Um, I think the Horizon Vanish has more twist through that midsole, okay? A very translucent upper. Um, it's, a, it's kind of that classic Skechers upper that they've uh, developed. Uh, you know what? It's actually similar to, similar to the Vapor Weave upper in the next percent as far as the feel goes. I would say that the Skechers upper is a little more, um, it's a, yeah, it's a little more nimble than the, than the next percent upper. If you are familiar with the next percent, um, here's the deal. Again, the stats are showing up on your screen. I love this shoe. I love it. I've now taken it out for two runs. <clears throat> Very, um, not snappy, but it's so lightweight. You feel um, so in control. You feel like your turnover is very easy. And as far as the midsole and the outsole on the Horizon Vanish, and yes, it is the same outsole design as you see on the Max Road 4. Okay, it has pods, these rubber pods that are um, raised up from the outsole. And I actually like the, I like the design, the feel underfoot. And I will mention real quick, um, ground contact feel. Lots of ground, so if you like, this is the opposite of Hoka. If you like Hoka and that protection, that thick midsole protection, then you probably will not enjoy the feel of the Horizon Vanish. It's, it's the opposite of Hoka, okay? And another point real quick on the upper is the heel counter. Look how malleable and flexible that is. I've really enjoyed the Asics lineup as of late, as you all know. I like that uh, kind of that uni uh, that rigidity that you find in the Glide Ride heel counter and the Evo Ride, but for some reason, I'm not slipping at all. Even though this heel counter is very flexible, which they're saving a ton of weight uh, through this heel counter, which is why the shoe weighs what it does. Well, one of the reasons why the shoe weight is so low and the Ultra Flight midsole again. It, um, it's not snappy, but it's so lightweight, you just feel like you can fly in this shoe. Now, as far as durability goes, I would say it's gonna be pretty low. If you can get more than 250 to 300 miles out of this shoe, I'd say you're doing great. It's not, I, I would say it is not designed to go the long haul. And as far as that price point goes, as you saw in the title, what, $100? 
how can you argue with $100 when everybody, okay, here's the comparison to the Reebok Float Ride Run Fast Pro, I believe brand new, if I'm not mistaken, this shoe was, was it, I think it was $250, it's been so long since I, I got this shoe, I think it was $250, there it is on your screen, compared to the, uh, the Horizon Vanish, $100, and th this shoe is only two ounces lighter, I think that the Horizon Vanish can be the go-to affordable 5K or 10K road racing shoe of 2020. $100 at that weight, uh, I, am, I am bullish, I am excited about the Horizon, I really am everybody. Uh, in fact, I mean, it might be one of my go-to workout shoes uh, as I start doing interval training uh, moving forward. I, it's, it's got me that excited, again, going back to the weight and no, no slipping in the heel. The upper, there is a, okay, there is a little scrunching happening through the toe box. I don't, I usually don't like that, but it's not in, uh, it's not bothering me while I'm out there running, all right? And one last thought, compared to the Speed Elite Hyper, like, I like this shoe, but I'm, I'm frankly a little more excited about the uh, Horizon Vanish at this point especially at $100, especially at that weight. And I, I like this shoe, but I'm not saying it's blowing me out of the water compared to this guy. And yes, the question of the day, and this, I need your help actually, because I'm preparing for a half marathon and a marathon where I need to lean into your expertise. What is your, going to be your go-to racing shoe for 5Ks and 10Ks in 2020? And with all these uh, marathons being canceled, we'll see what happens with 5Ks and 10Ks, but who knows? Maybe those races, which are usually smaller, maybe the local 5Ks and 10Ks will be happening in 2020, more so than the bigger marathon races. I don't know, we'll see. But that is the question of the day. Uh, what would be your go-to 5K and 10K road racing shoe for 2020? I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you for being here. Thanks for listening to all that. It's ever evolving. We're in it together, as I always say, and I love you. Oh, we're going to make it through. We're going to make it through. All right, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I'm going to toss it back to, uh, you know what? We'll go way back to the Reebok Float Ride Run Fast Pro. Uh, I think it was my full review. We'll, we'll toss it back right there if you haven't. That was for a long time, almost a year ago. So that'll be there. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Onward and upward. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.